Welcome back everyone, this is Ultra Lavos playing Deadly Towers. There's no background music. That's fine. We're gonna play our own. Well, we're gonna play the music from the game, but we're just gonna let it keep playing and not reset every time you go through a screen transition. Because no one wants that ever. Why would you do that? Unless it's going to a different song. Why would... Enough, I'm not even gonna talk about that. I just wanna go over what I have in my inventory real quick. There's a short sword. The instruction manual says, you start the game with the sword, it is so weak you feel lonely. And then in parentheses, you have no confidence in this sword. Your shield says, shield made of bronze. Easiest to get, but weakest defense. It's better than none, is in parentheses. So, yeah, the descriptions are kind of interesting in this uh, instruction manual. But let's head up. Look how nice that is, the music's still playing. If you all can hear that, I, I think you can. I mean, I don't know why they would ever think that was a good idea. Like, I, I get if you enter a dungeon, then you switch to the dungeon music. But not when you're changing between screens. Imagine if Zelda did that. And here's the dungeon we're going in. So let's switch to the dungeon music. See if we can actually hear the whole thing. Okay, as soon as you get in there, run through there, or those flames will pin you on the ground. And I'm going to go through this way. I'm farming 80 letter this time, and I'm not even going to a shop in the dungeon. So I could have farmed this outside, just killing some slimes and whatnot, but... I wanted to take you guys on an adventure through another dungeon that I'm actually going to go to the exit of because it's not very far from the start, and there's a bounder tower there on the way, which I'm killing. If I fill up on health, I'll check my letter and see if I need to grind anymore, but I'm definitely going to fill up to my 140. I think 250 is the max. Or maybe it's two, 300, 299. Uh, the instruction manual I'm looking at right here says maximum number of hit points is 299, so that's possible. You know, this is one of the few games that I actually have the box and everything for. Most of the games I have, I just have the cartridge, but this one I do have it complete in box. And hopefully this will be our last one. Oh yeah, we have well... More than we need. Well, what am I trying to say? We have way more than we need. So, let's uh, head in the direction that we need to go. Which I believe is just like in a circle. Almost. Um, no, we want to go down first. Back into the flame room. And right. Oh, it's pinning us! Damn it. You don't want to stay towards, like, the bottom of screens like that. I guess we could have just went down twice there. I don't know why I went in a circle. Okay, so now we're back up here. We could go back down, enter the dungeon again. Because when you go to the exit of a dungeon, it will always take you to the next screen up one north. Oh, no. See, I'm getting pinned. We don't want that. At least there wasn't a cliff like there is here. Now the music's going into some stuff we haven't even heard yet. Spoilers! Okay, let's try not to die. Let's get back to this track. Stupid lizard. We have nine health left. Hopefully Slimy here will drop me something. It's a blue version of Oscar the Grouch's pet worm. Are you serious? Now I gotta grind all that crap again. <clears throat> so let's do this, uh... We'll just kill things around here and get 90 letter, I guess. I wanted to take you in a dungeon, I was hoping to survive, but... Prince Meyer is like the weakest video game character ever in the beginning of this game. Like, look how many hits it takes him just to kill a ball. Ha! 
<laughs> yeah. Can we do it? And that's like a dangerous place to fight right there. We can kill these things over and over again. We don't want to sit around there all day. The sword, though, man. And that letter just disappeared before we could even get it. That was some... It should at least stay on the screen longer than that. We have the sword. You can't shoot it again. And I'm at two health. This is, this is bad. You can't even swing your sword at melee range. Once you throw that sword, it's... It's out there until it hits something or exits the screen. Just 17 more letter and only two health. I know I'm gonna die like as soon as I get what I need. I couldn't even go grab that one letter. Like doing so would have killed me. Sixty-nine, dude. Do I have enough? Seventy-four. Need six more. I guess the big ones are five. I am so frightened of whatever that is outside. Like as soon as I hit out there. There we go. And I don't know if I mentioned this before or not, but the inventory in the shops actually change. They uh, will be the same anytime you go in there until you collect a certain number of bells. I believe it's two or three bells when the first change happens. And then once you collect five bells, the next change happens. I believe. I don't recall 100%. I'll look that up here in a minute. We have 80. Let's go in here. Let's see if I can find that out real quick um, we're gonna buy the helmet and we are gonna equip it the chain helmet and now we're probably gonna die that's probably a thing that's gonna happen well, let's look at the shops uh, yeah zero to two bells it'll sell one thing uh, three to four bells and then five to seven bells collected it will sell the third set this one here, I believe, is the Red Drink Chain Helmet and the Fire Magic. And uh, it turns into a Red Drink and Iron Helmet and a Red Scroll and then a Red Drink Iron Helmet and Fire Magic. So yeah, and there's actually some things that won't be available later on if you don't buy them now. So where do we want to go? I guess we'll go get some more stuff. Ah, uh, damn it. We're probably gonna, like, just fall off right here, but... Yeah. Let's just die. We'll get more health and we'll be at some place that we need to be. Alright, let's, uh, let's get the annoying music back on. Just to be in the spirit of the game. There we go. I know you guys wanted this back. Alright, we're gonna go grind some more Bounder Towers. Doesn't that sound like a fun time? Okay, we're back on the third level. Now we're gonna go up to the fourth level. Is this where the... Another heart! Yay! Okay, ah. Uh. Get past this little section. It's somewhere around here. Oh, I think it's like right where that thing is. Yeah. And that snake will hit us into the Bounder Tower, into the other Bounder Tower. 
That's just the way this game is. It knocks you into things that just kills you that just kills you. But, uh, whatever. We're gonna deal with it. So, okay. I actually want to farm this one here. And this time we're actually going to get a whole 232 letter. So while we do this, let's just uh, talk about how awesome the box art is on this game and how you felt tricked as a kid when you walked into the video store and you were like, oh man, this game looks so awesome. Look at the cover of this. Look on the back. Look at the pictures on the back. That's even showing you cool things that we haven't even got to yet. Like the hill heading up to the tower, the tower itself, and a boss. It actually shows you the towers, which I'm pretty sure I never even made it to a tower whenever I rented this as a kid. I was stuck in this castle, ended up getting in these dungeons, wondering what was going on. I attempted to map uh, some of them, but it's so convoluted. Like, I didn't know how games were programmed, and there's like 16 by 16 grids, and that'll be what they use, but you can, it'll wrap around, and it, yeah. Not very fun times. I enjoyed the game, I just wish I would have understood it more when I was younger, so I could have, you know, been able to make it some kind of progress through it, and I think I even, I hated it at the end. As much as I enjoyed it, I was just so mad, I was just like, this game's just terrible. I don't like it. But then when I got it later on, I was like, Okay, let's try to figure this out, and once you actually learn the game and its nuances, it's kind of cool once you realize how much you have to grind and and all the items you can get, and you become strong enough to not just die. But the music repeating itself is still very annoying. I mean, it was Broader Bun. That's the... That's the uh, company that published Battle of Olympus, so I thought this was going to be just as sweet. It was not just as sweet. How much letter am I at? 214, man, we're almost there. 232 is the magic number we're going for. And this is an item that if we don't get now, if we go and collect two bells, we won't be able to get this item again because it will disappear from the shops. It's not that useful, it's hyper boots and it will let you move faster, but as what I am uh, known as it's only when you're walking diagonally like that it speeds you up, so we'll find out. 238, I need 232, so it's time to go get them. Okay, so we're going to go down three times and then right. Kill this guy for sneaking up on us. Alright, here are the shoes. Let's head back up here, take out the slinky looking things. And see, oh, wait, did we equip him? Okay, let's equip him. Yeah, we're moving a little faster at a diagonal, but not really left or right. Like, maybe, maybe in some very, very unnoticeable way. But now we got these, so let's go back up. We'll go up a couple times. That guy looks like he uh, is unemployed now, but he used to work uh, on the stage at Showbiz Pizza before they went out of business. And here's the lone flame sitting in the middle guarding the exit. And we couldn't even get our letter. So now we've moved up one section. We're actually right above where the dragon is. Uh, this is where I'm going to end the video. This has been Ultralavos playing Deadly Towers. I'll see you all next time.